Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm talking about eyeshadow palettes. In particular, 10 eyeshadow palettes that have come into my collection at the kind of middle to end of last year that I haven't really used yet. And when I say I haven't really used, I mean I might have done one look with them or swatched them and that's it. I don't even know what I really think about them or how I feel about them. Not acceptable to have 10 palettes in my collection that I don't really know how I feel about them. So I thought I would show you said palettes. What I'm hoping to do this year is um, try and bring one of these palettes into eyes, enjoy your eyeshadows that uh, be created uh, every month. And that way then at least I'll get them into rotation, use them, see what I think of them, do I like the formula. A lot of these are new formulas to my collection. Um, so yeah, that's what we're talking about today. Who doesn't love a bit of eyeshadow palettes? I know I do. The first one we'll speak about is actually what's on my eyes today. It's the green kind of eyeshadow. Uh, this is the Cosmic Brushes Muse palette. And um, this is currently in my eyes and I have it on my eyes. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. So we've got greens, we've got purples, we've got kind of taupey, mauvey shades. And yeah, um, I don't do as well when shades are this, as I like to call higgledy-piggledy, <laughs> not over the place. I like when things are a bit more routine. Is that the word I'm looking for? Do you know, like is with like. I don't know. I just find it easier. My brain finds it easier to digest. But what I do with palettes like this is I pick, I say, what do I want to do today? I want to do a green look. Right. Well, let's look at the greens and see what goes with them and see how I'm going to accomplish that. So that's what I did today. Um. So yeah, this is in. Just to give you a couple of swatches. Mm. They just swatch beautifully and they seem to go on quite nicely. Uh, had a little bit of problem with the matte today, the dark green. Oh, I mean, look at, I mean, mm, divine, so pretty. Um, the green today, filigree or filigree, yeah, filigree, this one. Uh, I found it a tad patchy to work with, I have to say. So I just have to see how I get on with the rest of the mats and kind of go from there. But yeah, this is the one that's in at the moment that I'm working on. And um, so far, so good. As far as the shimmer's going, it's stunning. And for us over here in Europe, uh, Cosmic Brushes is quite affordable. Uh, bear in mind, I am not for a second telling you to go out and buy any of these palettes. I probably shouldn't have bought them myself, but have a look in your collection, see if you something similar. No doubt you do. Uh, next up is a Be Perfect. I have this nearly a year now. I have it a year. That's a lie. I do have it a year. I had actually bought it as a gift for someone else, but when it came, the mirror was broken and I didn't feel comfortable uh, passing it on, even though it seemed to be fine. You know, none of the bits had gone anywhere, but just wasn't happy. Uh, this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival All Star Palette um, by in collaboration with Stacey Marie. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So we have some antidote. We have some of the carnivals. You know what I mean? You have everything really there. And I got rid of my bigger carnival palette um, because I had this. I said, I don't need the big, big one. This is perfect. I still kept my antidote because I love it. Um, but even still, like, you know, you have these beautiful grungy greens, you have some bright reds, purples, oranges, blues. I mean, you have everything really there. Um, again, I know I like this formula, so I was happy, you know, to hang on to it, but I just haven't used it yet, which is silliness personified. They just, oh, they just swatch beautifully. Um, but there you go there. So that is another one that needs to get rolled in. I think it may be in the summertime, maybe. Actually, I wonder would August be a good time for it? Because you're starting to round into autumn and I could use some of the autumnal colours, but still have some of the summer colours. We shall see. We shall see. But yes, I'm not going to keep repeating myself and saying I'm going to roll that in because I said that at the start. Uh, next up is from Glam Shop. 
this is the Balada, Balada, I'm not sure, uh, this palette here. And this is what she looks like on the inside. Very pretty. Um, I wanted to try something a bit neutral leaning because I, I've spoken about this no end throughout last year that colourful eyeshadows are kind of winding down for me a bit at the moment just because of my lifestyle and, you know, where I'm off to on a daily basis. Um, I'm just kind of using more regular so these seem very much like topper shades, don't they? Kind of lovely sparkly, but definitely topper shades. They're all the shimmers that are in it. And they all seem to be quite topper-esque. Um, but I do enjoy, I like the look of the the uh, mauve tones, you know, that those kind of purpley pinky tones, very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, I think that would be a great neutral palette for me to have in a shop moustache one of the months. I did off on the shimmers. Oh, I'm going to be a mess at the end of this. That's okay. Who doesn't love the shimmer? Oh, my desk is a mess too. Um, so yeah, that is the Glam Shop Balada. Any of these palettes that I'm showing you, if it's a thing that it, um, you think, oh, there's a certain way you need to use that formula. Uh, you need an X kind of brush, or it's better with your finger, or you need to do this, or you need to do that to get the best out of it. Please tell me all information welcome uh what do you over there next up we've two to two to two to two to two natasha denona's i have the mini nude and the mini sunset here is the mini nude and not until i took these out to do this video <laughs> did i notice quite the similarities Within these two guys, <laughs> they'll actually probably work really well together. Um, but yeah, I kind of um, yeah, there's a lot of similarities between the two. But regardless, pretty again, color story, easy to use. Should be getting it into my monthly rotations. And this, then I think, will be lovely in the summertime. You know, you're a bit more warmth in it here in this shade. You know, it's quite a, a red magenta kind of shade oh yeah that swatch is beautiful actually mm. i was watching um hayley oh today no hayley from the beauty news girls and she had this red eye look on today and it was just stunning stunning and i was like oh i'd love to try that but i don't know <laughs> i'm a bit scared of red eye looks i don't know I just don't know uh next up is one of those purchases that you just think, why did you do it? This is the Catrice Five in a Box Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And I bought it because I wanted to see if it was a dupe for the Natasha Denona's. Why did I need to know that when I had the Natasha Denona's? Anyone explain that logic to me? Um, but yeah, look, I want to try it. It's here. It's in my collection. We shall see. Already swatching the shades, you can tell. You know, they're a, a pale comparison in uh, formula to Natasha Denona. But look, it's in my collection now. I want to try it out, see what I think and go from there. If I pass it on, I pass it on. I have family members that are happy to accept a certain amount of makeup. <laughs> Not quite the amount that I'd normally pass it on, but anyway. Uh, next up are two Alter Ego palettes. I placed an order last year. I've got four palettes in total and these two I haven't used yet. This is the Canyon palette. And I bought this because I was interested in the bronzed palette, I think it is, from Natasha Denona. And now that I've purchased this, I've realized, well, that was stupid of me. There's no way I'd wear the bronzed palette and therefore why did I even buy this palette? The reason being is it's too dark. The shades are too dark for me. I like lighter colours. There, It's a little bit washed out there. Maybe if I pull it back a bit, you can see. Um, yeah, they're, 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 these shades are very dark. I'm going to have difficulty, I would imagine, with this palette. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it out and see what I think. Uh, not sure about the Ultra Eager formula just yet. I know some people say it's amazing. I can't say that I found it to be anything like that one didn't even swatch. What, what happened to you? Did you just... 
they're okay they're okay but maybe in my eyes i'll enjoy them more you know swatching doesn't tell the whole story ever a swatch can make some palettes look amazing and then when you put them on your eyes like that's a bit disappointing and then others you swatch them and you go god that's rubbish and then you put it on your eyes and you're like oh my god that's amazing i'm in that um we have also from uh alter ego the coastal palette and this one i purchased because i really enjoy mercury retrograde i was curious about rose quartz but I felt there was too much similarities and it never came down as much as the Mercury retrograde. This side of the, the world anyway, Mercury retrograde came down to 45 over here. This never did. Um, well, not this obviously, but rose quartz never did. And I do enjoy these tones on my eyes and it's quite a light palette, which is, as I've been saying, something I'm really interested in. This shade, I don't think I want to do anything with because it's just, I don't even don't even get it but the rest of them hopefully will be you know these they seem to swatch a bit nicer as well than um the other palette that i just the canyon kind of have a, a dewy chromey kind of effect to them which is very pretty so we shall see what we think and i might even try some of these shades um that are similar to Mercury Retrograde and see how they before. Try and do a side by side look. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I'll play around. And the last two are two very beautiful palettes that haven't been used yet. One of them was. Both of them were <laughs> for one look and a very simple look at that. Now, also, these are magnetic palettes and I have rearranged them because that's what I like to do. I like colour stories to make more sense to me. So they will not look how they would have looked when they were sold. Trim and Spice. Glaminatrix. So I've kind of put the darker, kind of more grungy shades together here in this one. I mean, just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Again, we have some toppers. We have some shim shimmers. We have some serious metallics. We have duo. Look at them go. Oh, shut up. Why haven't I put these on my eyeballs yet? I think a little bit of them. I'm a little afraid of them. <laughs> do you know what they need to do? Oh, we have a visitor. You coming in? Come on. Oh, please. There he is. He is. Oh, hello. Who's this? Who is it? Who's over here? <laughs> He's like, there's no one else here, you psychopath. Yes, stunning, glorious, beautiful. And then the last palette that came into my collection last year was the Glaminatrix Rich Romantic. And it was my Christmas present. And I've kind of put all the pastel -y kind of shades in here. Kind of reminds me a little bit. Was it the Charmazine palette, was it? Does that give me glow or someone like that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, doesn't that? Oh, brings me so much joy having changed it like this. Um, and having it going to have all the lighter shades in it. Just. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, stop it. I just. It, I just keep saying stop it, will I? Yeah, let's go. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're fucking beautiful. But you do not need them. You don't need them. I didn't need them. I won't be buying any more because they're very expensive and you've got customs and you've got delivery and you've got all the things. All the things. Lads, is there anything, is there anything as beautiful as swatches? I just, mm. I could happily now sit here for the day just swatching all my palettes. It just brings me joy to see all the beautiful colours. But half these colours I won't put on my eyes, which is sad, but there you go. It's the reality of the situation. 
yeah i have to i have to play with these i have to get them out and just work out stop being afraid of them i'm definitely afraid of these laminatrix ones because i've never really worked with duo or triochromes or anything like that um or multichromes whatever they're called and i get a bit um i don't know um what's the word i'm looking for not anxious but i i'm never sure I don't like not knowing how my look is going to turn out, if that makes sense. And with duos and multicrums and stuff like that, like if you turn your eye a certain way, it's going to look different. And I need to get over that. I'm not even making sense. I know I'm not. But there you go. That's just the... My brain doesn't... Doesn't work normal. That's okay if it wants to be normal. Um, but yeah, those are the 10 palettes that I currently have in my collection that I have not really used at all and need to get some loving. And that's what is going to happen this year. There's 10 of them. There's 12 months in the year. There's no reason why it shouldn't happen. So yeah, that's it for this uh, video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And it was a bit enjoyable seeing all my swatching and the palettes that I haven't touched yet. Have you any palettes at home that you haven't used yet that you're kind of going, come on now, get them out of the drawer and get using them. This is your challenge. Do what I'm doing. Get one a month into some sort of rotation and play with it. Doesn't have to be no pen left behind. Doesn't have to be project level up or pen those eyeshadows. Just what's calling to you in the palette. You don't need to use every eyeshadow. Just say, right, I really want to do X look today. And I'm going to use this palette to do it and then it's used that's you know what I'm going to do uh but that's it for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll chat you in the next one take care bye Salon. <laughs>